Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another eyeshadow tutorial for you guys. Today it's going to be a halo eye tutorial. I've gotten a couple requests to do this eyeshadow look, so I'm here today giving it to you guys. I'm going to be using affordable eyeshadows as well, so you guys don't have to worry about breaking the bank or anything. Also, I'm going to be doing the cut crease method today of my eyeshadow. I'm not just going to wet the brush and apply a shimmer. I'm going to cut my crease and then apply my shimmer, so you guys will be seeing that technique as well. But before I get started, please don't forget to like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And ring the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the makeup. So I already filled in my eyebrows. I use, as always, my Benefit Precise My Brow Pencil. And that was in the shade 3.5. I think I'm going to go in with this palette today. This is the Morphe 35H Hot Spot Palette. I used this palette in a previous video, but I didn't do anything too crazy with it. It's a really pretty palette. So I might dip into this palette. This is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's. I don't think so, though. I'll just see how I feel. I might, might not. We'll just see how everything goes. I actually cleaned up my brows with my Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm doubling this up as my eyeshadow primer to do as well. I don't usually like doing that sticky base method, but since my eyelids have been severely dry, I think I'm just gonna like leave it tacky. We'll see how it goes. I normally don't do it, but we'll see. I don't really have a direction of where this look is gonna go. I'm just gonna wing it and kind of do, you know, whatever I normally do. So I'm gonna start off this shade right here. I'm gonna take a Morphe M433. So I'm just gonna stamp that shade right here, starting on the outer corner. I'm gonna work my way in. Since I have a sticky base, I'm making sure I'm gonna stamp the shades first rather than doing swiping motions. Once you have the shade packed on, then you could go ahead and move back and forth. I like to bring my shadows pretty high, pretty close to my brows, only because I feel like it looks better that way. I don't like to have a big gap in between my eyeshadow and my eyebrows, so that's just personal preference. You don't have to do this, obviously. My eye is watering today, see that? So we'll see how this goes. Usually when my eye waters, it's not gonna be a good eye day. If it helps you, you can also look down at a mirror and then, or you can also kind of tilt your head back a little and that allows you to see more of what you're working with, more of your eye space. So I'm just gonna say this right now. With this type of eye look, you're, you're gonna need a lot, a lot, a lot of patience. This is not something where you could just throw in a couple colors and then, you know, have it look good. You're gonna have to go back and forth with your blending back and forth with colors back and forth with brushes it's a process but if you do it the right way you actually get a really nice outcome so i would say it's worth it and then so this is a pretty light shade to start off with which is what i always do i don't start off with the really dark shade it's gonna be a nice transitional color I really like how this palette is set up because you it's like split down the middle. One way is like your blues and cooler tones and the other way is like all the pinks and stuff. It looks really, really cute. It's a really nice palette and I believe it is 24 bucks. So you're not breaking the bank. You get 34 or 35 eyeshadows. I feel like sometimes the eyeshadows can be hit or miss. So it just depends on the palette but so far this one's performing pretty good. I'm like so nervous to do the blue because I don't want it to be like I do the blue and then it messes up or something. I decided I'm gonna do the blue. So I'm gonna dip into that teal shade right here. And this is another M433 by Morphe. So this is a clean one. So this one I'm gonna keep right here at the outer corner. I don't know about the shade, it's looking a little patchy. And it's not blending nicely with the other tone that I put on. I just continue to pack it on and see. I don't like how that looks. It looks like muddy. Like I don't like these, how these colors like melted together. Mm. I'm moving to the warmer tones. I'm gonna restart moving to the warmer tones because this is just like not it for me. It's like by the color by itself looks nice. But blended here, it's like a gray color, and I don't like that look. It just doesn't look good to me, so I'm going to wipe it off, and I'm going to start over, so I'll be right back. 
I'm gonna take that neon, neon pink shade right here and I'm going to put that on the outer and the inner part of my eye. I'm gonna start off outward here. Just press it on right here in the outer corner and I'm moving it not like this. I'm moving it kind of upward into the crease. Make sure on the inner corner. Same thing, you just wanna connect those colors. This color looks really pretty in the pan, but it's not as like neon as I would like it to be. I feel like once they start blending it, it kind of like drifts away from me. This is gonna be the color that we wanna see underneath the dark color. So in order to do that, you wanna take a now a fluffy brush. This is a JH34. It's kind of like a small fluffy brush. It's, it's a little dense. Not too fluffy, but just the right amount of fluff. So what I'm going to do is literally do the same steps. I'm going to fluff it like in the crease. Type of, just like the same thing we're doing, but we focus this one more on the inner and the outer corners. So I'm like lightly moving the shade upward. So once you get up top here, you just want to do circular motions, really light-handedly, by the way. said in previous videos before I do pull my eyeshadows out a little bit more than you know my eye space kind of towards like the end of my brow but I go in usually I clean it up with like a wipey or some concealer so it's not that big of a deal to me this is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini look at the packaging gorge 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 and I'm actually gonna dip into the color Zobo which is that like my, like purpley magenta dark magenta shade which i think it is perfect for this eye this pink so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so taking that zobo shade on this elf brush i'm literally just packing it on and sweeping it inward they say these juvia's play shadows are you know extremely good extremely pigmented i feel like it's like a little washed out i don't think i'm i'm not getting like the pigment i expected a JH35, I'm gonna dip into the Zobo shade. Here's further blend. It doesn't matter if you're like blending the colors because at the end of the day, we're gonna like cut the crease for the halo effect. This is just to add color. In the halo, you wanna see these colors behind. So I'm gonna take the JH34, the one I blended that bright pink shade from the Morphe palette and I'm gonna take it on my brush, just blend these outer edges. So I'm gonna take this Morphe M503 brush and I'm gonna dip into a darker color. I'm gonna use the shade Ada in the Juvia's palette. This is this shade right here. I'm not like really impressed with these shadows. Like, ugh, what is the issue here? Yeah, I'm not too crazy about this Juvia's palette. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. blending eye brush, just a tiny brush again. I'm actually going to dip back into the Morphe palette because this Juvia's palette is like very underwhelming for me so I'm going to toss her off to the side. I'm going to use this color right here. It's like that berry tone shade. It's kind of like plummy. So again, I'm kind of just like sweeping it inward. It's the same type of steps that I've been doing the whole time. I 
don't know. I feel like the, the shadows aren't like building as well as I would like them to. I'm just running into some issues with these palettes. Another palette I do have is the Anastasia collab with Alyssa Edwards. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on that slash review, let me know in the comments below. I think I bought the eye, the Anastasia eye base as well. So I could review that for you if you want. Comment down below. Like this video if you want to see that. To cut my crease, I usually, this is my cut crease brush. It's my MAC 242 brush. So it's just like a concealer brush. It's nothing too fancy. But to cut my crease, I only use my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fairlight Neutral. I'm going to show you guys a trick because I do have like hooded eyes. So this is always a trick that works for me. So I'm going to apply concealer right here on the center of my eye. A pretty good amount. I'm going to look up. And then it kind of marks it for you like where your concealer line should be. Instead of just having to like guess. So what I'm gonna do is I kind of just get the concealer and then I drag it down this way. Not sideways, you wanna pull it downward. See, and then I just pack it on like this. It looks so harsh and ugly right now, which is that's how you actually want it to look. You want it to look ugly. <laughs> So I'm actually going to take like a dry brush, like no product whatsoever. This is the Morphe M434, just like a synthetic packing fluffy brush. So I'm just going to take it and we're just going to pat out the concealer. Nothing on the brush whatsoever. I'm just going to take off the excess concealer. Kind of blend out these edges a little bit. But I'm just going to mostly just take off the excess just because I don't want a big glop of concealer on my eye and then like fluff in the edges go back into the zobo shade and i'm going to start deepening this outer edge right here so i'm not bringing it up to the creases you can see because i want that halo effect i'm bringing it down here just kind of fluffing it lightly at the crease not too much Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finishing Powders. I have the shade Spotlight Glitz. I'm gonna apply with the brush, even though they say to apply it with your finger, but I just, I can't because I have nails, you know? So it's gonna be a little tricky for me. I'm gonna take that on a concealer brush. This is a Morphe M421, literally the world's tiniest concealer brush. It is so small. Look at, look how tiny that is. So freaking small. I'm just gonna start stamping that on. <gasps> that looks so pretty. It actually works with the brush. I think it's working because I have that like sticky base concealer on. Done. I'm gonna take that small blending brush. I'm gonna dip back into that Zobo shade and I'm just gonna graze these edges going inward. You don't want to pull it outward. I'm gonna take the Morphe M506, dip into the Zobo shade. Once again, I'm gonna hit literally right above the where we place the glitter. Really lightly though, you really don't wanna get the glitter on this 
brush. So once again, I'm going to take the packing brush and I'm going to dip back into the Artist Couture Spotlight Glitz finisher. I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray on it. This is the Morphe setting spray. Gorgeous, these like shimmer things are freaking amazing. Artist Couture has done it once again. Honestly, the Artist Couture highlighters are like some of my favorite highlighters ever on the market. They're so good. They're like the loose highlighters, but they're amazing. I honestly really, really enjoy those. So I'm gonna step away from the eyes. I'm gonna do my whole entire face. Let me show you guys the situation here. This like fallout situation. So be mindful if you do do your face first. This is the type of thing I'm dealing with. One thing I didn't mention that I'm going to do is I'm going to tight line my eyes. Oh, this is the Marc Jacobs Highlighter Gel Crayon. And this is in the shade Black Claw. Don't know how to say that. Excuse me for not knowing French, but... Don't know how to say that. So I'm just gonna tie line really quickly. Just gonna prep my face. I'm using a really bougie primer, so I'm not even gonna like mention it in this video because it is so expensive. I'll link it down below, but it's embarrassing, so. So I'm going to move back into my eyes now. I'm going to just do the lower lash line really quick. So I'm going to dip into that Zobo shade in the Juvia's palette. And I'm going to take a flat definer brush. It's the Morphe M432. The flat definer brush I literally always take. So I'm really close to the lash line. I know some people who do halo eyes will tend to do like a halo effect at the bottom as well. But personally, I don't like how that looks. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to do what I normally do and kind of just smoke out the lash line. I'm going to take this elf brush and I'm going to pack a little bit more of that Zobo shade on my eye right here. I'm going to dip into that hot pink shade mixed with that peach shade in the Morphe palette and I'm just going to smoke it out. I'm going to blend out this lower lash line. I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, the one I literally always use. So. No questions there. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna 
cut my lashes, apply them, do the rest of my face. You know the drill. Lashes today, I'm gonna to be using the Batty B lashes and these are in the style Saucy. These are like a nice wispy lash. Every time I do a halo, halo eye, I personally like using more of a wispy lash, but do we please, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just gonna apply these off the camera and I will be right back. So this is the finished look. This is my halo eye, how I do my halo eye. I know it's not like the most perfect halo eye I've ever seen. I know, trust me, I know. I critique myself all the time about it. But this is what I do to do my halo eye. The palettes that I used today weren't like the best palettes, I would say. I don't know, it's just like the quality wasn't all there for me. Those Artist Couture Diamond Lights finishers though, go out and cop those. Those are so freaking good. Like. Honestly, I did not expect to like them as much as I did. I thought they were gonna be kind of like chunky and like not my thing. They are chunky, but they're like a good chunky. They aren't like super harsh in the eye. They look really, really nice and like so pretty underneath the lights. It's just, they're gorgeous. I definitely recommend those. Still super glam, super like you're going on a night out type of look. Like definitely not your everyday look. And I think I'm going to Walmart after this, so gonna be full glam at Walmart, which is not the ideal place to be glam at. The lashes though, these baddie B lashes, shout out to Jenny69 because these are so freaking bomb. Honestly, the saucy style is probably my favorite style. Mm. I like the sugar baby style lashes and the saucy style. I think those are my two favorites. The other ones are really, really nice, but these are just like my top two. I think will be linked down below anyway, so you guys can see what I use and the prices and everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video. Comment down below what you think of this look. Also comment down below what are your favorite eyeshadow palettes to use at the moment. I really need some like inspiration on eyeshadow palettes because these Morphe ones, lately they just haven't been that good. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also ring the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!